Yes. In New York City, everybody takes the subway. Everybody walks on the same streets. There's no hiding from the criminality. And this is why when it got really bad in the 90s, Giuliani was elected twice. Michael Bloomberg was elected three times. So there's like less tolerance for criminality in New York City, even though it's bad right now, yeah. than other major metropolitan areas. And you know, that's why three years ago, it was the safest big city in this country. Even Mexico City has had enough of the progressives because a bunch <laughs> of Californians moved over there and they're like writing articles about how like they're destroying the cultural heritage of the city. It's Are you for real? Yeah, LA Times actually put out an article about that. What I end up finding out time and time again, and this is something that a friend of mine, Devin Tracy, is always saying and I really take to heart, is that these cases are all litigated in the court of public opinion. They become a fan of the story rather than the people necessarily. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? And, and they, they, they take sides. Like, I, I remember I did the Adnan Saeed case, yeah. and people were calling me a guilter, and it's like, what? And they're like, yeah, there's guilters, and then there's the, the, the innocenters. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, uh, a girl was actually murdered in this story. It's not it's not Team Edward versus Team Jacob, but they think it is. Yes. It used to be people would move out of blue cities because they wanted to escape blue politics, but now all these people can work remote, so they're ruining everywhere. It's ridiculous because the language that they use is like the most, what they would call the most extreme uh, immigration rhetoric if it were on the American if side. If we're on the other side. They're like, we don't want you. Get out of here, Americans. Get out of our space. They're like, they're like, they don't speak the language. Uh, they they <laughs> demand uh, changes. They're increasing the prices, and they even had in again a progressive LA Times article. Uh, they even had them saying they're ruining the ethnic na like the ethnic nature or something of this city, and it's so wild. <laughs>